Hey guys, what's up? It's Daniel with TrailerMountain.com and today I'm testing and reviewing and setting up the Fly Creek HV Ultralight 2 person Super Ultralight tent. So this is a sub 2 pound 2 person Ultralight tent and it's made by Big Agnes. Here's their website right here. Definitely want to make sure you check these guys out. These guys are making really high quality, high end backpacking gear and they've been doing so for a really long time. I'm going to bring it over here. I'm going to set up my, uh, my camera in a different area so you can see what I'm doing. We're going to set up this bad boy. Now as I said, it's a little windy today. This is a sub two pound tent. This thing's gonna be blowing all over the place, so you have to bear with me. All right, so first things first, we're gonna get it out of the stuff sack. Stuff sack is really, really lightweight. I'm just gonna put that off to the side. I'm just gonna put it in my pocket for now. And we're gonna unravel this thing. And then we'll set it up. It does come with stakes. Same kind of material for the stuff sack and the stakes. And the RV stakes. So really nice, very strong, ultra lightweight aluminum. The stakes are also DAC treated. I don't know if you can see that, DAC right there. So DAC is a uh, green method of anodizing. So they use less chemicals, better for the planet, so on and so forth, all good. Here's the actual tent pole, the structure right here. And I'll get to that in a minute. But I do want to get this thing set up. I'm going to start by the corners. Okay, front corners are all staked out. Let's do the rest of them. Sometimes I use the other, another stake to kind of press the stakes down because depending on the ground, it can get a little difficult. Now for the poles. Pole is actually one pole or one a series of poles. It also comes with a emergency field repair splint. So in case one of your poles breaks, you have a, uh, an extra, extra little piece on there that we can keep the pole together. And one thing I really like about Big Agnes tents is that they, they make it really easy to set up. Everything is color coded, shock corded together. The pole system is all DAC treated aluminum as well. On the center here, you have this blue hub right here. So the orange piece that you see on the back here, that goes back here and there's a little orange tab so you know which way to set this thing up. It is pretty self-explanatory though. Set these up in the little grommets right here. Also on the back side is this little hook and that's what's gonna connect to the, um, to the tent body itself right here and I'll get to that in a minute. But once you get that in place, then you just start using your hooks. I do have the rain fly inside the tent I have set this up one other time before, but my audio and my microphone was acting up, so I really couldn't get a good uh, good video review for you guys. These just all set up right here, and there's your structure. So really simple design, but tons of room for two people. Here's how that back part sets up. there and that connects to this little hub right here and that's what holds the the body of the tent higher orange down to the orange little tab right down there and that little grommet and you could just see from the inside here there's a lot of room in there definitely enough room for two people there's also these little guys down here and I'll get to that in a minute as well as these front door entry super simple very very lightweight all right, so let's get this opened up. Kind of just fold this door aside. Use your little hook right here that holds everything in place, holds the door open. Plenty of room inside. We're gonna get the rainfly on now. Rainfly is super easy, just because Big Agnes makes it easy. As I said, everything is color coded, so when you get the rainfly on, just basically clips into place. Even in wind, it's still relatively easy to set this thing up. And these right here don't have a clip for the back. They pretty much just hook around the stake. Now I'll get to that in a minute. It does have a little clip though for the fly onto the tent body. On the inside here, those little tabs I was telling you about, they do is they increase the uh, overall size of the tent on the inside so it increases the vertical wall structure making this thing a lot bigger inside you 
You do get three extra stakes for additional guy lines if you need it. So there's your design right there. Fly Creek, ultralight, high volume, two person tent. This would be great for one person. Tons of room in there. That's where the back section sets up. As I said, the fly on the, the, the fly doesn't have its own clip in the corner like some of the other tents. It actually just uses the guy line and just uses the existing uh, tent stake here. Same on the bottom here. You can guy that out if you want to. If you want to increase that out a little bit more, you can stake that right there. And then there's your buckle. You can tighten this up. Reflective right here. Plenty of room for two people. And I do like the liner locks here. So you can really adjust the tension on those. Extra guy lines right here. Also reflective, door in the front. So you can really stake this thing down if you get into some high wind and some heavy storms. All right, let's get it open. It does have a couple little Velcro strips right here. Open that up. I'll just cinch this down for the fly, for the door on the fly rather. Plenty enough room for me to get in. I can sit up, even Indian style, I can sit up and I'm six foot and my head does not touch the top of the tent, does not touch the roof. There are two little side stretchy pockets right here. I'll get the camera inside here just so you can see them. There's also a small pocket up top here for like a little gear loft. It does have extra tabs and Big Agnes does make an actual gear loft for this tent. If I sat over here on the side, I have plenty enough room for myself even on top of a sleeping pad, I would have enough room. I wouldn't be touching the walls of the tent, but there's a lot of room in here. You know, for a small tent, there's just, there's a ton of room. The vestibule is pretty big. I could definitely put my sandals out here. Um, if my pack was small enough, I could put my pack under here. If I laid it down when the door is closed, absolutely. Just a great, great tent. You know, I'm really impressed with it. Um, Big Agnes never ceases to impress me, you know, they always make really high quality products. I'm going to get the camera moved in here just so you can see what I'm talking about. Alright, so I'm inside the tent, and if you look up top here, I'll move around just so you can kind of see me. Up top here is that little gear loft I was talking to you about. So you have a nice little pocket up there, and on the sides, right here, you have really nice, decent sized stretchy pockets on either side. There's plenty enough room in here for me. Hey! So yeah, plenty enough room in here for me. Perfect size, but even if I was off on the side, there's still tons of room over here for, you know, my wife or, you know, one of my kids. This is what I was talking about, about the inner structures here. The way the fly connects to the inside of the tent body right here, you can see the flies over there, but it's connected with this little clip. And it's also, down there so it's actually pulling up the floor of this tent and pulling the tent body up which is even better because that increases the overall size inside here and the overall headroom and shoulder room as well all right guys so that's my review of the fly creek high volume ultralight two-person tents from big agnes here's big agnes's website right here definitely want to make sure you check these guys out these guys are making really high quality you know backpacking gear and camping gear and they've been doing so for a really long time it is a little bit on the pricey side, but one thing I've learned about backpacking gear is you definitely get what you pay for. Um, there's something to be said about buying something and you buy it once, you buy it for life. So Big Agnes is notorious for making high quality gear and I wanted to show this to you guys because you're my valued subscribers, you know, and you guys expect me to come out with uh, new, uh, new videos every week. And this is the latest one that I just got from Big Agnes. So really nice tent, I'm very happy with it. And this is the tent that I most likely will be bringing on the John Muir Trail in August. Completely weatherproof, you know, it, it's going to take pretty much everything that I throw at it on the John Muir Trail. Thunderstorms, hail, I'm sure it'll take anything I throw at it. If you guys have any questions or comments about the Fly Creek Ultralight High Volume Two-Person Tent, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about it. Please leave those down in my comment section down below and I will get back to you as quickly as I can. Also, too, please like, share, and subscribe. It really means a lot when people subscribe to my channel and like what I have to say about the gear that I'm testing. Also, if you guys want to get in on my $1,400 gear raffle, at the end of this video, there'll be a little clip where you can click on that 
There's $1,400 worth of backpacking gear that I'm raffling off for our trip. We're raising money for big city mountaineers. So if you want to get on there, make a donation, $50 a ticket, $100 for three tickets, and $150 for six. All tickets are virtual. I'm only selling 200 tickets too, so the odds of winning are great. Plus, you're making a huge difference in a kid's life, so get on there. Minimum donation is 10 bucks. You know, all donations are tax deductible. Get on there and make a difference. You know, everybody's got 10 bucks. So thanks again for tuning into my latest video. I really appreciate it. Please keep checking back for more gear reviews, outdoor-related hodgepodge, gear talk, and giveaways. Take care, guys. Get outdoors.